What's up, VC? Hasn't been too long, but uh, like always, I've got a pretty big stack of stuff. And with more stuff on the way, so that's a pretty big stack. So if you've been watching my channel lately, those of you who do watch my channel, I don't really buy used records anymore. Just the used records that I want are really rare albums such as Kraut Rock albums like uh, Can, Amandul, Guru Guru, stuff like that, and Prague stuff and Psych stuff. The stuff that goes for a lot of money and it's really hard to find. And uh, my musical chase, tastes have changed a lot over the past year since I'm, past couple years since I've joined the VC. And I'm into this new proto metal, stoner rock kind of stuff, it's metal stuff. That's basically the majority of stuff that I listen to nowadays. And I just because I'm going to shows of this kind of stuff and. It's coming out now. The it's just fun waiting for new albums. I, I mean, it sounds kind of stupid that it's fun to wait for new albums, but when you actually get that album when it finally comes out, it's just it's great. I mean, but anyway, uh, it's a bunch of new albums in here, and that's what I'm going to be showing. Every single one of these are, I guess, I do have some used albums in here, but they're new new albums. I mean. Uh, they're not old bands like Led Zeppelin or Cream or all that kind of stuff. So, uh, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. Um, it's a brand new band. Uh, let me just show the record. Uh, Beast Maker. Brand new band. This is the first album. I picked up the single, promotional single to this album. Not too long ago. Uh, here it is. It's called You Must Sin. This is Black Sabbath-y, like all the bands. So it's, they sound more like Electric Wizard kind of stuff, but more more catchier songs and not as much repetition, if you know what like how Electric Wizard sounds. But anyway, I showed this in, I think, in another video. Let's get to the actual album. It's called Lu Lucius Nature. Naturai, I don't know. Uh, but there's a lot of satanic kind of themes in here. I mean, they don't mean anything by it, but, you know. Uh, pretty cool. Let me just open this one. It's on Rise Above Records. They toured with Blood Ceremony, I think. And now they're about to start touring with Mono, Mono Lord. So that gives you a little taste of what they sound like. If you like this kind of stuff, definitely get this album. Bunch of great songs on here. Twelve great songs. It's on purple vinyl like most albums on Rise Above Records. And it comes with an insert. Let me check this out. Check that out right there. Got the band on there using the SG. And I mean, you can just tell what this sounds like. I like the artwork because it Resembles an old horror movie from like the 70s. But, uh, great packaging. I like the matte kind of feel they do on here. Really great pressing. Sounds great. Uh, Rise Above Records. They always do a pretty good job with their albums. So, on my screen, just turn block. Okay. So, already four minutes in. Just show one album. All right, new album. Number two, Black Heat. This, I just, no, this is black. I'm not going to, it's black vinyl. This is a band, previously they have gone by Black Heat, spelled, black spelled B-L-A-A-K, Black Heat Shuja, I think. But they changed their name just to Black Heat, and this is technically their third album, but their first album under the name Black Heat. This album is awesome. It reminds me... It, it doesn't remind me of anything. I guess that's what I was trying to say. But it's like a psychedelic... If you know who Radio Moscow is, it's Radio Moscow. If Radio Moscow went over to the Middle East and started living there for 10 years. And 
it's basically got a ton of Middle Eastern themes on here. I, I want to say this is a concept album. I don't know, but it is definitely a themed album. The album is called Shifting Mirrors, and the songs you got Sword of Hakim, The Approach of Al Mutasim, all this kind of stuff. But they got this is awesome. I mean, this is ex it's, it's not it's not experimental, but they know what they're doing with these sounds. And if you like the middle, if you like Ohm or something, I think this is ten times better than Ohm. No offense to Ohm fans, but I love Ohm as well. But this is way better. So that's Black Heat. Next one, uh, Pure Doom right here. One of the heaviest bands right now in the Doom catalog. This is Conan, Revengeance. Yeah, Revengeance is the album. It's on black vinyl. Napalm Records. Uh, don't have much to say about this one. Uh, if you know who they are, you know what it sounds like. And if you know who they are, who they are, you probably have this album. So, and if you like straight doom, this is about as doomy as you can get. So moving on, <clears throat> I'll open this one. All right, this is the new reissue of Scream Bloody Gore by Death. I pre-ordered this. This is the limited edition. I don't even remember what color it was. It's the one that's limited. The uh, white and purple. I don't remember how many copies there was of this. I think like 500 or something like that. But it's pretty cool. I, li I love how they do the cover of the Shiny Death and the title of the album right there. And it also comes with a booklet and download, which I just dropped out of there. But here it is. Got the lyrics, got some pictures of the band, uh, and the download. Probably not going to use it, but still not going to show you guys because you know, I might use it, you know. Uh, yeah, so sounds great. And this is actually really pretty affordable. Relapse is pretty affordable. I want to say this was like around $20 with shipping and all, so it's pretty cheap. And the color is cool. I'm going to try and put these back in the sleeves as I go because it gets really annoying at the end if I've got them all out of the sleeves. All right, next one. I'll take this one out as well. Uh, Earthless, Harsh Toke, uh, Split. This is basically just the two bands got one side of a, an album and just chose to jam on it. So it's just two songs. Or two jams, if you will, of these two bands. Side A is Earthless, and check out that vinyl. It's neon green splatter. But, um, first side is Earthless, second side is Harsh Toke. Harsh Toke, if you don't know, is, uh, I'm assuming most of you know who Earthless is. Uh, Harsh Toke's basically the same thing, same kind of band. They just jam. But I don't think they're as good, and, uh, yeah, but... It's per still a pretty enjoyable listen, uh, and you got this awesome, really cool cover on the back, on the front, and then you turn it over, and you got this tripped out roach guy. I don't know, but uh, yeah. So that is pretty cool. I didn't necessarily pick it up for the music, I guess, but I just thought the color was awesome. It was just so tempting. So you know, I like Earthless. I like Harsh Toke. So. I already knew what it would sound like, so a lot of anyways. But it's all right. Uh, so now moving on. So I ran into a bunch of Jucifer albums used. They were a great price, so I ended up buying all of them. And I have had I have a I've had a the I have a Jucifer CD that I bought a long time ago. Now it's pretty good. I like it. Uh, and then I saw all these, and they were vinyl, of course. So I was like, well, you know, you don't see these every day, and they're a pretty good price, so let's just buy them. And I'm not a huge fan. So I'll buy them, and I turn, it turns out I, I love these. This is their first demo. It was recently re-released. Re and this is awesome. This is on green vinyl. But it's kind of, it's very doom-sounding. 
Fly, if I remember correctly. I've only listened to this once, but I loved every minute of it. It looks very black metal, but it's not super black metal. It's got some black metal influences in it, but it's really great. And I think you can still get this for a pretty good price. So, that was the first one that they had. Hold on. Excuse that. Uh, they also had... This one's on the turntable, so... I'm not, I can't show the vinyl, but uh, this is... I don't know the name of this one. If Thine Enemy Hunger... Uh, this is on Relapse Records, the red vinyl. It's the red vinyl version. I think it's it was limited, but a uh, great price. And that's something sticky. I don't know how that happened. It's like soda, soda syrup on it or something. I have to clean that off. But I got that one, um, red vinyl, and then I got this one. I think it's red vinyl as well, so I'm not going to open it. Uh, Throned in Blood. This one was alright. I liked it. But it was just alright. The The demo was awesome. And this one blew me away. Uh, I don't know how it's... It's in Russian, the name of it. I don't know. Somebody on Facebook commented when I posted this. and said what it means, but I can't remember what it means. I'll have to look. But this album is awesome. This is like... Black metal infused with, uh, I don't even know. It's it's awesome though. They have like all these interludes with spoken Russian spoken word, and it's a concept album. It's all about, I think, Russia in World War Two. But if you like metal and you like really uh, experimental kind of storyline stuff, this is this is awesome. I was really blown away by this. And it's, it was cheap, and it, I mean, you can't get much better than that, so. All right, I picked this up. I've got one of their other albums, and I thought, you know what, it's new album, let's get it. Uh, Nonagon Infinity by King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Um, this is all right. It's not as good as Mind Fuzz, I think the name of it is. Um... <clears throat> Cool artwork. Uh, they're getting pretty popular now, so a lot of you might probably know who they are. And this is the <coughs> excuse me. This is the green black splatter edition. So I think there's other different ones. This is probably the this is the one that was in record stores, so it's probably not that sought after or anything. I was looking on eBay for some of their earlier albums, and they're like ridiculously priced. It's crazy. Um, moving on. Saw this band live open for a sword, and they are awesome. Uh, person, uh, this is, what's the name of this? Magic, Desires Magic Theater. This is like Doorsy, kind of circusy, kind of psych, Godelic. It's awesome. Uh, this girl, Rosalie Cunningham, yep, Rosalie Cunningham, I think she recorded most of the instruments on this album, and it, it's just incredible, some of the songs are just, they're catchy, and there's, in this band, there's five people in the band, so there's a lot, there's a lot of depth to the songs, it's not just straightforward pop kind of stuff, it's got some metal influence, it's got some pop influence like I said and it's very it's got a, a whole lot of stuff going on like it doesn't get boring listening to the songs like it's not like Beatles kind of pop where no offense to the Beatles uh, Beatles are great uh, but they bore me this doesn't bore me um, and it's great so if you like that kind of stuff definitely check this out they open for Ghost in Knoxville and then the next day I didn't see Ghost but I, I'm gonna say this but I don't really like Ghost that much there I said it uh, I went to see this, they opened for the sword the next day in the same in Knoxville so I saw them open for the sword and it was it was amazing so continuing on I just have two more so this is kind of a long video 
Uncle Ash did not creep. Finally got the sound. Finally found a copy of it. And this is another one of those bands that, if you like this kind of music, you know who they are. There's nothing to say, really. Except, I will say, okay, so, when you listen to this on CD and digital, it sounds atrocious. It sounds horrible. I can't even... After listening to the vinyl, I can't even listen to the the CD or um, digital version. This is the superior copy, for sure. Now, I'm not one of those people that say, oh, vinyl's better than everything. It sounds the best. I like to listen to the things that sound the best, which is never digital. Sometimes the CD, just because a lot of times with some of these albums... That, that people don't know how to press vinyl, like this. but this this sounds great on on the turntable, um, the CD and the digital. Just I can't even listen to it. There's no, it's just flat. There's no bass. There's no treble. It's awful. But that's on purple vinyl. So, um, continuing on, this is the last one. I bought this one with the Juicifer albums. It was used as well, but it's a new one. New album. It's Weed Eater, 16 tons. Excuse me. I've had this. Oh, excuse me. I've had this on CD a long time, and it was just great to find the final copy. This is a reissue that they put out a couple, maybe a year or two ago, on Seasons of Mist. Uh. Yeah. I mean, it's a bunch of redneck dudes smoking weed. I mean. That's what it sounds like. Um, heavy vocals are just screaming. I mean, there's no singing really. There, there is, I think, a song where he actually tries to sing, and it's just it doesn't work out for him. But um, I think it's he's playing acoustic guitar or something. Dixie, I think, is what he's, what he's called in the band. But great album. Uh, I don't know which Weed Eater my album should be on is my favorite, but this one's really good. Uh, so, that's all I got. I believe that's everything. I always forget something, at least, but I should be back here pretty soon. I've got a couple things coming in the mail here pretty soon, and I went a little crazy, so uh, tune in next time.